In this video, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes with some yellow cellophane, a beautiful model, a fan, and an amazing makeup artist. Stay tuned. Hey gang, I am always on the lookout for things that I can drape around a model or turn into an outfit or place over a light source to change the color of the light or even turn into a background. As a result, I make frequent trips to local fabric stores and arts and crafts stores like Joann's and Michael's and AC Moore. And I'm always digging through the clearance sections to see what I can make use of without breaking the bank. On a recent trip to Michael's, I found these bright colored rolls of transparent packaging wrap for just $4.99 a roll. These are basically 30 inch wide by 25 foot long rolls of colored cellophane. And at five bucks a roll, that was a steal when you think of all the things that you could do with it, including making your own custom gels for your LEDs or speed lights or studio strobes. Sometimes when I find stuff like this, it immediately gives me an idea for a shot. And other times, I just know it's something that I'll find a use for. In the case of the colored cellophane, I had no idea what I would do with it, but I knew it would be fun. Sure enough, a week later, my makeup artist came up with this very colorful makeup look that had lots of different colors and geometric shapes. Now you frequently hear me talk about the idea of working your shot to make sure that you haven't missed a potentially great idea. I've also shared some of my failures to show you how I come up with these shots. In this case, I honestly had no idea how to shoot this look. There were so many colors and so much detail that I was struggling to come up with something in my head that really got me excited. When that happens to me, I have learned to just pick an idea, don't second guess myself, and begin shooting. Begin shooting knowing that I will work the shot and keep exploring until it all comes together in a way that really excites me. When my model came on set for the first shot, I decided to go with this idea of draping some gold material over her head. You can see I also draped some gold colored tulle around her neck just to add an additional texture at the bottom of the frame. I hated this look. Then I took a step back and thought, well, maybe I should keep it real simple and go with just the girl and the gold tulle at the bottom. Boring. Then I second guessed myself and went back to the shiny gold material draped over her head and looked for ways to also use the dull side of the material, maybe shining some light through it. Nope. Then I tried wrapping the material around her head. Nah. Then I went all the way back to the beginning and I tried to finesse the shiny gold material draped over her head. Still not working. Then I remembered the roll of yellow cellophane and it all came together in my head. This was a basic clamshell lighting setup using 320 watt second Interfit Honey Badger strobes mounted in medium sized Photoflex light dome soft boxes. I use the grids on the boxes to keep as much of the light on my subject as possible and to prevent it from reaching the white background. I had an additional honey badger on the floor in front of the Savage Universal white seamless paper backdrop to make sure that I had a pure white background. Once I added the cellophane to the shot, I placed a yellow gel on the background strobe to turn the white background to a bright yellow and then added two more honey badgers, one on each side and aimed back towards my model also with yellow gels to create the rim lighting that would accent her face and makeup. So the finished shot was a total of five 320 watt second lights. It is important to understand that you could do this shot with speed lights or pocket flashes. And if you have enough space, you could actually pull this shot off with just three lights. This shot was made with my Olympus EM1 Mark II and the Enzuico 45mm f1.2 Pro Lens, which is a 90mm full frame equivalent. The ISO was 200, which is the base ISO for the Mark II, and the shutter speed 1 250th of a second, and the aperture f8. I was shooting tethered with the Tether Pro cables from Tether Tools and using the Olympus Capture software to manage the camera and the downloads. For camera support, I used a Benro carbon fiber tripod with an Acrotec ball head mounted on top. Now that I had the yellow gels creating a yellow background and the yellow rims, I started by adding a collar of cellophane around my model's shoulders. I left the gold tool in place to just have a little extra texture. At this point, I knew that I was onto the right idea, but it still needed more. Since I'm a glutton for punishment, when I'm looking for that little something extra and I have no idea what to do, I tend to go for chaos and look for something that will surprise me. So I added a fan on the floor behind my model. 
I also moved my digital a la carte case with my laptop behind the model so that I could see the shots as they were downloading. And I had Monet, my makeup artist, move behind the camera to coach the model on her expression and head tilts. Then I took a section of cellophane that was about six feet long and I started letting the fan blow it around to see what kinds of shapes and textures I could create just behind the model. I'm triggering the camera using a wireless remote control. I did try a few frames without the background lights so that the white background turned dark gray. And while it is cool how dramatic it feels, I still preferred the bright yellow that you see here in the finished shot. The final images required very little post-production beyond the usual color, contrast, sharpening, and of course, removing of blemishes. I say this just as a reminder of the importance of great hair and makeup. So there you have it. Sometimes you just have to fake it till you make it. It's not as hard as it looks unless you allow yourself to be afraid. Fear of failure is the biggest obstacle to being creative. You simply have to keep shooting, work your shot, try things, even things that seem ridiculous. Your model will always respect your effort and you will learn lots of new things and your photography will head in directions that you had previously not imagined. I hope this gives you some ideas. Take this idea and run with it. Go create and show me what you come up with. Until next time, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss any videos. And hey, don't keep all this cool stuff to yourself. Please share it with your photography friends. Photography is not a competition. It's a passion to be shared. Now go pick up that camera and shoot something because your best shot, <laughs> it's your next shot. So keep learning, keep thinking, and keep shooting. Adios.